Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Uh, we are in 2 Thessalonians, and we're uh, in chapter 2 right now. We're doing uh, three episodes. We're going to try and, and do this three episodes just dealing with the Antichrist, which is taken from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Okay? And uh, but yesterday we talked about, as I, I just kind of introduced um, what the Antichrist is. The Antichrist is a false um a false jesus okay uh you know he, he he stands up to be look like he's going to be the messiah and he's not at all okay just like i had the shoes that i thought were you know the shoes my that i talked about um the shoes that i run in are exactly hoka the rei model exactly 9.5 size but these are one size difference if they're a little bit wider okay and they actually hurt my feet with that and so um they're they're false okay they're they're not the right shoe and so you go around and you look at them and uh, uh, someone not noticing would like i didn't go oh yeah that's they're the right shoe it's not the right shoe okay and people in the end times will be deceived thinking this is the messiah when jesus you know has already been here he is the messiah so that is the Antichrist, okay? And we talked about yesterday, too, the time period uh, that these things take place. You know, uh, you know, Jesus naturally was, was born, you know, died and resurrected, okay? And then we are in the church age right now, and then uh, someday the rapture is going to happen, okay? And that's when we are going to go up to heaven, okay? The church, the Christians are going to go up to heaven, okay? And then you will have, after that, the Antichrist will come, he will be revealed, the tribulation will happen, and then um, the second coming of Christ. That's where uh, Christ comes back, and that's when judgment happens, okay? Judgment is also happening during the tribulation, but that's when uh, the judgment, the final judgment happens. And then after that is the millennial, uh, the, the millennium uh, period. Okay, so hopefully that explains it all. I had a diagram. The diagram is, is harder to see. Uh, but anyway, that, that's what we were talking about. What I'm going to uh, attempt to do here today is just go over verse 1 through 4 of that. And I'm just going to go and just by verse by verse go down through there and talk about each of that. Because if a lot of times we're reading through the Bible here with this particular chapter. We read through it. We don't really look at it really close, and then um, we misinterpret it, or just we don't un understand it at all. So I want to go through it real slow, just verse uh, 1 through 4, and then tomorrow I'm going to go through verses 5 through 12. Okay, so uh, follow along with me as I read here. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. All right, it says this, Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, okay, that's... This, uh, both, you could talk about the rapture and um, the second coming, and are being gathered to him, we ask you, brothers and sisters, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teaching allegedly from us, whether by prophecy or by word of mouth or by letter, asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. Okay, so there was false teaching that was happening that and it was like through forged letters and other ways and just false teachers being around saying that the day of the lord had already come okay uh you could say both the and i'm not putting these together the rapture had come or the second coming had come so this when this people heard this they put them into great confusion like oh no we missed the rapture and um it, it, and Paul's going, no, 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 but you got to understand these things. And so now he's going to lay it out. But it's the letter is written because the people had this false, um, false teaching that was given that the, you know, the rapture had already happened. They missed out. OK, so uh, let's keep reading here. Verse three, don't let anyone deceive you in any way for the day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. Okay, so it's talking about the second coming here. The second coming will not happen until 
the Antichrist is revealed. According to verse 3, the Antichrist is revealed, uh, will not come until the rebellion occurs. There's a rebellion, but also it, with that particular translation, it can also mean, it, according to the Greek here, um, this, the rapture of the church. Okay, um, So it doesn't look like it, it means rapture, but if you go back to the, the way the, the Greek is, um, it could mean that. So either way, um, it, you know, the rapture is going to um, occur. There is going to be rebellion that happens too, uh, uh, before that too. So either way, those things have to happen, but then the Antichrist ha you know, has to be revealed. He has to be revealed before the second coming, okay? He will be re revealed after the rapture though, okay? So um, that's in, in verse three. Um, and it, it, you know, it says the man doomed to destruction. That's the Antichrist. He's gonna be doomed to destruction. Verse four, he will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or his worship so that he sets himself up in God's temple proclaiming himself to be God okay so this you, you need to uh, have read through Revelation and, Dan, and, and Daniel also to understand this verse for, fully so when the Antichrist comes he is going to set himself up he's going to be uh, you know looked on as a hero because well one big thing he will have brought peace uh, to, to Jerusalem and will have set up been able to set up a temple. The big thing, you can't set up the temple right now because the temple site is to believe right where the Dome of the Rock is, okay? And if you start building a temple right where the Dome of the Rock is, you're going to have an instant war with the Muslim uh, people. Um, so this man is going to come and he's going to bring peace and he's going to somehow get the temple built, whether it's just off to the side of the Dome of the Rock or whatever. I don't know, okay? Uh, but he will, um, that will be what he does. Okay, so he, he's instrumental in bringing peace to that whole region of Israel, bringing the, the Jews and the, the Muslims uh, together, and uh, not together, but in a peaceful uh, solution. Okay, now, and no one has done that. Okay, so you might go, oh yeah, I think this guy's an antichrist, this guy's the antichrist. And the Bible says there's many antichrists, plural, but there's one, only one antichrist you know you might say the, the final antichrist or whatever um there's many people that are against god okay um and you might go hitler and the pope and all, all this other stuff but the antichrist has not been revealed and he will not be revealed until after the rapture happens so if you go around today and you say i think you know this guy is the uh, i think the pope is the antichrist or you say some president former president future president uh whatever that you you can think of um he he could be alive but he will not be revealed as the antichrist till after the rapture okay so it'd be wrong for you to say you know uh bill wagner uh is the antichrist okay you might think he is but uh you can't uh he's not going to be revealed till then okay so if that makes sense okay so um, and so he will oppose and he will exalt himself. Um, he, he's going to oppose Christianity. And every time there is, um, you know, uh, you know, the, a great political movement to, that's supposed to bring peace and all this stuff, you know, it attacks Christians, of course. Um, and he will, so he will oppose and then he will exalt himself over everything. And so he's going to make this, this peaceful uh, union. But then three and a half years into the tribulation, he will set himself up in the temple. You know, the, the temple will, you know, be doing the Jewish worship and stuff like that. But then three and a half years into it, he's going to go, hey, you know what? I, I need to be the person in the temple. And he's going to set himself up to be the person worshiped in the temple. Okay, so that's going to cause a big stir. And he's going to demand that he is the one worshiped. Okay, and that's where you're going to have, you know, 666 and the mark of the beast and everything. And you can't buy and sell unless you have that mark of the beast and so forth okay so all those things again today we don't have the mark of the beast on us okay um, there are things that have happened in the past here that are conditioning us for that mark of the beast but there's no mark of the beast upon us uh, yet okay and you'll know when you get that mark of the beast it will be obvious okay um, and he will set himself up in God's temple 
proclaiming himself to be God. Okay, so ultimately this Antichrist will be the person that will set himself up like he is God. Okay, and that he is the one to be worshipped. And you know what? A good portion of the world will worship him, uh, and you know do that willingly. Like, oh yeah, this this is this guy is God, and so that's what will happen. Okay. So that concludes verses uh, one through four there. And so that kind of gives you an idea of what the, the future Antichrist uh, is. All right, let me pray with you. Lord God, I pray that you would guide us, walk with us, uh, help us to, to be uh, followers of you. Uh, and then um, if we are followers of you and in the word, we're not going to be deceived as to following, you know, these false messiahs. Uh, but give us wisdom, give us guidance uh, and help us as we walk in your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, anyway, hey, thanks for walking with me as I'm a regular dude walking in the Word. As we uh, look at this, this passage here, and this is not an easy passage. This isn't like something you just fly through, obviously. Um, but join me tomorrow as we finish up uh, going verses 5 through 12 and finish up talking about the Antichrist. All right, Lord's blessing. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.